السلام عليكم السلام عليكم we are hyped we are excited we are so sorry to be back together again ebony and avery just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> um what's the other one bonnie and clay oh bonnie <laughs> Ooh. It's yep. so much better when we're together and we do live videos versus separate, but we do know if there's a way, if there's a will, there is a way. Um, mm -hmm. So welcome everybody to Business Wednesday. My name is Maya and our lovely host, Hajir. Marhab. Salam alaikum. We are so excited um, for our followers that are on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Thank you guys so much <clears throat> for tuning in and watching the show and if you're watching the replay hey girl hey hey guy hey thanks for watching <laughs> um make sure that you are following the page and not just liking the page we sent a whole lot of invites out and every time i go into the reactions i see that y'all are still sitting on y'all invite please don't sit don't sit click on that invite so that you can get all the good stuff right away Sound good? We all on the same page? You all, all right. know how to hit that follow button. <laughs> I did a video. So if you don't, I will reshare it later on today. So. So, um, today, Alayla. Alayla. Alayom. Alayom. Business Wednesday. Business. Business Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm, are you waiting for me to say it in Arabic? Nope. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to say it in Arabic. So, um, we are sharing some tips. Maya's going to start with the tips, and then we will hear from you. If you have a business, if you ever had a business, if you ever thought of doing a business, talk to us. Tell us what you did. Um... They said talk slowly so they can learn English. So Maya, sorry. If she talk fast, I am going to be the slow one, okay? So <laughs> I will try my best. Business Wednesday. Yes. Alayla Yom Al Arbi'a. Wednesday is Al Arbi'a. Al Arbi'a. Wednesday. Yom Al Arbi'a. Yom Al Arbi'a. Al Arbi'a. Al Arbi'a. Yeah. Wednesday uh, is business day. So business, if you ever thought of starting your own business. لو فكرت أو فكرتي إنك تبدأ شغلكم الخاص إدارة أعمالكم أعمال وظيفة is a job. But when you start your own business, you become um, سيدة أعمال. للمرأة for the woman سيدة سيدة أعمال أعمال yep like when you you talk about the woman who run her own business um so if you ever thought about starting your own business or you are already doing your business share your tips with everyone else hello hello كيفكم um I'm gonna um just share my experience um, but Maya is going to go through the tips first. Right. So go ahead. So we have four tips um, for you guys today, and then we'll expound on them later on in the show. We have four tips. Four tips. Arba. Arba. Yep. Four tips. Four tips. So tip number one is clear vision. So you got to know exactly what you have in mind for your, for your business, what you want. So clear vision. Um, tip is advice or nasiha. 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 So the first advice, um, clear vision. You can have a rūya or you have a rūya wadha le al al or the business al inta hatabda wa shirika. If it was a shirika, you start your own company. Shirikatik al khasa or shirikatik al khasa. ولا أي تايب أي نوع تايب is نوع أي نوع من الأعمال الخاصة أعمال خاصة أعمال خاصة أعمال خاصة so clear vision first you have to have a clear vision on what you wanna do or we 
in business call it a business plan. Right. خطة عمل. Say خطة عمل. خطة عمل. خطة خطة عمل. عمل. Yes. <laughs> business plan. خطة عمل. Yes. Number two is customer focus. So you have to know exactly what you're going to offer and how you're going to gear your product or service to your customer. So you have to have a straight, clear vision to your customer focus. So basically, customer in Arabic, zabayin. Zabayin. Yani, that's one of the way you can say it. There is many ways of saying things in Arabic. When you choose a target audience, uh, al الأشخاص اللي بتوجه عملك أو شركتك أو أي حاجة استثمار عايز تعمله بتختار منه الناس اللي أنت موجه الحاجة دي لهم so you choose your audience target audience mm -hmm. customer focus um, if you are working in an area where they need healthcare for example and they don't need something. Uh, uh, so you, you just choose what the need for the area you're doing the business at. Right. Okay? Number three is adaptability. Being able to stay focused and adapt to change. Flexible. Yeah, to stay flexible and adapt to change. Uh, uh, like when you adapt to change, is basically you are being open, um, like you have an open mentality. With business, you have to have an open mentality. Mm -hmm. um, تغيير, change. تغيير. تغيير. <laughs> Again, <laughs> تغيير, change. <clears throat> so if you come and did your research on starting a business and say, for example, um, trucking. Mm -hmm. And you found out that there is no need or high need in the area. Mm -hmm. Or you need to do it in a different way. Be flexible mm -hmm. uh, to change your vision uh, based on the need of your customers. Zabayinkum. Right. Number four is effective communication. Foster a clear communication with your team and with your customers. Communication is not just with business. Yesterday, we did talk about having a clear com like communication with your kids, with your mm -hmm. spouse, with mm -hmm. your family, with everybody around you. Um, yesterday, I was one of four panelists at the Leadership Hersberg area. Uh, we did discuss HR. All four of us talk about our experience running a company. Mm -hmm. And my biggest thing that I advise people to do is keep a clear, open communication, whether with your clients or with your employees. Um, almost everyone in my company knows that communication is a big thing mm -hmm. for me personally and how we contact each other. Right. Use your email, um, phone calls, uh, make sure you clarify anything, but you have to have clear communication in order for you to succeed. Right. Um, communication, tahatub, tawasul. We said that yesterday with the mm -hmm. autism, mm -hmm. that you need, like your kids might fail of communicating, mm -hmm. same way. If, they're, if they cannot communicate clearly with you, whether that your kids, your customers, or your client and employees, mm -hmm. you are not going to have success. Right. So, and communication is for everything in life. So if you have a hard time communicating with others in general, it's going to be very hard to communicate if you are looking into starting your business. So you can take communication courses yeah you can look on there's so many videos on youtube for free yeah. about how to communicate and how to you know be able to speak with others it's very very important that you know how to speak sometimes it's not what you say 
but how you how say it. you say it yes so communication is very very important in st especially in business because you don't want to say something and then somebody takes it a different way and well then you know what happens after that yep um so hi al amin hi wisal hi kareem hi dia hi everyone um so the communication part is is truly important like um أعرف ح I'm gonna say it in Arabic. Okay. <clears throat> أول حاجة لازم تعرف أو تعرفي الزباين أو ال المشروع بتاعك ح حيكون مركز على منو يعني لو أنت حتعملي شغل مع نساء فقط حيكون الرسالة بتاعتك موجهة تجاه النساء. If you're doing business with just women, you are going to focus or target women. Right. If you're doing it with everyone, you're gonna adapt to have a message for everyone. Right. If your message is regarding healthcare, or any وظيفة, any مشروع في الصحة, um, uh, حتوجه رسالتك mm -hmm. وتكون واضحة. I'm just gonna repeat everything again. Clear vision. يكون عندك وجهة واضحة. لنوع المشروع uh, وجهة واضحة لمنو الزبائن والمقصود بهم المشروع عشان مشروعك ينجح uh, adaptability and flexibility uh, لازم تكون uh, مرن flexibility is مرونة 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 like maroon 5 مرونة مرونة لازم تكون مرن وبالذات في البزنس يعني لو انت زول اخلاقك ضيقه if you someone get angry like angry fast or don't have patience oh my god you are not going i'm not going to say you're not going to succeed but you're going to drive yourself you crazy you're going to learn today that's you're going to learn exactly, today that's exactly what she said <laughs> yes when especially when you deal with people yeah. um my business is staffing so i deal with people Mm -hmm. That's all I do. So you have to learn the cues. You have to learn how to read others. You you have to learn how to communicate. The one advice I will give you, I've uh, been running this company for 10 years now. You truly cannot take anything personal. Yeah. أعمال شخصنا شخصنا take it personal شخصنا 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 <laughs> um, you like you cannot take things personal when it when it comes to business mm -hmm. you have to learn to separate draw a line draw a line yeah when you talking to someone you have to put your business hat on mm -hmm. <laughs> and to be someone who knows how to um, like, you know how that saying, customers are always right? Yeah. Truly, when you run a business, <clears throat> in Arabic we say, الزبون على حق. الزبون على حق. الزبون على حق. ولا الزبون صح دايما. يعني, you always, always, always put your customers um, first mm -hmm. and you need to learn. It's a choice. Right. Do you want business or you want to fight? You can be someone <laughs> who fights every day, but then you're not gonna have you're not gonna have business. You're gonna have, have nobody. You have nobody working. Fighting, with you. leave the fighting for fighting. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, all right, go ahead. <clears throat> no, you're on the right track. Yep. So, go ahead. Uh, just you, you just need to you need to have your target, and you have. Set yourself to succeed. A lot of businesses fail not because they don't have a good idea or they can't do the job, but they fail because they set themselves for failure. Yes. And you can truly do that. Yeah. You can have a perfect recipe mm -hmm. and just go out there and act all crazy. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the way you dress, the way you present yourself, right. Unfortunately, we live in a society that truly judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes mm -hmm. it's not. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, by any means, I'm not telling you to change who you are, to change yourself. 
Uh, I'm not telling you to put a different persona because who you are it's will true. make you succeed yeah. um, if you focus and do it right. Mm -hmm. And you always have to do what makes you happy. Right. If you do what makes you happy and you do it right, you will succeed at anything you do. Right. It's like that saying, you know, when you love what you do, you're going to be, what is it? If, when you love what you do, you'll be more successful. Kind of like that, y'all. Y'all know I'm from Texas. I don't know. With all said, I'm very happy about this topic. I hope to become a businesswoman soon. You will, yeah, yeah, with all. You will. Um, as, as long as you have your mind, your health, even if you don't have health. Honestly, nowadays, you can do it sitting like at home. From home. Just mm -hmm. have a plan. Find what you're good at. Yeah. And when I say you're good at and what you enjoy, I don't care what that is. Like Rimas, um, my, my middle child, mm -hmm. she's a musician. She's an artist, a musician. And she's also like, she's very, they're both very smart, my, my girls. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. And um, her sister is an academic focus person mm -hmm. and she is an art major. Mm -hmm. So they, they were having that discussion and Malas told her, she said, have a backup plan. Like you can't go to school for just music because you're going to be a starving artist. Right. And as a mom, you will think I'll be like, yeah, get a job that will pay your bills. I said, no, you need to follow what your heart is telling you to do. You can succeed at being a musician. I know that a lot of people think uh, having a major in art or music is not going to get you nowhere. Mm -hmm. No, if you put your heart to it, yeah. you will succeed. Mm -hmm. And you you need you need to love what you do and do what you love. So I told Remaz, pursue what you like, pursue what you're good at, mm -hmm. and try to find something make you stand out. Right. So it doesn't matter if there's 20 other musicians, mm -hmm. what gonna differentiate you from Rihanna right. <laughs> or, or somebody, those famous people were not famous right. until they put the work, right. you know? When I started my company, um, I got nothing. Mm -hmm. I got, when I say nothing, Nothing. I was working hourly rate and I'm not saying be like me because I'm a <laughs> daredevil. <laughs> I I decided well, I decided to do it and I did it. So you have with business you have to be a risk taker, but yes. that doesn't mean to do risky business. Right. But you're absolutely right. <clears throat> like don't undercut yourself by saying don't be a daredevil, right? Sometimes you have to let go of the things that are holding you back, yep. which may be that corporate job or, you know, something that you you like, but you don't love. Yep. So you got to let go of those things for you to accomplish what you really want to have to accomplish in life. Yeah. Uh, and this is a lesson. I mean, I, like I said yesterday, Hajir has been knowing me for eight years. So this is a lesson that I myself have been learning. I've been running my business since I was 15. Um, but I only gave part-time results. Because you put part-time work. Exactly. No, I put in part-time work and I only got part-time results. I said it backwards. Yeah. But, but so you, you have to put your all. Yes. And I know a lot of people will say, uh, I'm going to risk. And, and there is a comfort zone. That's exactly what it is. Oh, my word. You I read your mind. mind. Yeah, we saw and everyone listening to us. There is a comfort zone that you, you're going to put yourself where you feel comfortable. Yeah. You're going to sit there and as long as your bills are getting paid, mm -hmm. as long as you're eating, you're going to say, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I don't need to dream. Mm -hmm. Dare to dream big. And honestly, I'm not saying tomorrow quit your job and pursue your goal, mm -hmm. but have a plan. That's yeah. why we're trying to help you yeah. set the plan. Um, I still worked like when I started the business, I'm a nurse. So my situation is different. Um, I had money mm -hmm. and I have that job security. Mm -hmm. So even if my business go belly up, which hope not mm -hmm. never, mm -hmm. um, I still got, have my license to fall back on. Right. So education is a big thing. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those young people out there listening to us, 
get your education, get your college degree, mm -hmm. um, get your diploma. If you're not someone who is um, college, uh, what you call it, oriented, mm -hmm. and you're a technical person, nothing wrong with that. Go learn what you like to do. You're a mechanic. Yeah. Go to a technical school. Yeah, invest you're in yourself. Computer savvy. Mm -hmm. um, people who play is game, video game for just fun. Some of some people did it for a job. Mm -hmm. And there is your Facebook. Those right. are the social media you're watching us from now. Right. Someone who dare to dream right. and did what they like and started their business. Right. Um, so we have a comment here. I have a lot of the ideas, but don't know where to start. Hint. <clears throat> Hint said she has a lot of idea, but doesn't know where to start. And that's absolutely normal. You don't want to be in my mind. <laughs> that's why I do million things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I used my hyperactivity. <laughs> Uh, and instead of getting medicated for ADHD, <laughs> I use it to do six businesses. Right. So, hint, if you don't know what you want, are your ideas different or they all fall in the same um, track? Right. right. So, for example, if you are an artist, you play music, you sing, mm -hmm. um, you draw, mm -hmm. then, you know, you can think of creating your own space where you can, you know, use um, your talent to to do. The, there are music therapy now. Mm -hmm. Kareem is a recipient of music therapy, and it helped with autism. It helped with a lot of uh, kids that need um, medication. Yeah. Instead of medication, they do music yeah. therapy. They do art. You know, there is someone that started a business on just having autistic kids come play drums. Oh, wow. And his business is successful. Right. So it doesn't matter what is your... She said she is in... I am in the... Finish that sentence. You are in the what? Hint. <laughs> so you might have a lot of ideas, but put those ideas in... Paper. Yeah, paper. I was just thinking, wow, word. She's like reading Pen and mind. paper are old news to some people and they use Google document. Doesn't matter what you use. Mm -hmm. Write down your ideas and find what is the common denominator. Um, she is in the medical field. Hint. You're my kind of girl. <laughs> medical field. Healthcare, I always say healthcare, you cannot go wrong with healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, if you are in the medical field, you can start your own practice. If you are in a nurse, you know, you want to do a business in nursing, there is a staffing agency such as my agency. You can do home health care. You can do medical transportation. You can do medical advice. You can open your own clinic, your mm -hmm. own center. You can put an, do an autism center. You can do, um, there is a sensory. That's something new right. and we don't have here uh, in Pennsylvania, for example. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Kareem and other kids, there is no place for them to go have fun like other kids without being um, uh, sensory deprived or extra, I, I'm, I'm not, thinking of the right word but there is places that are starting to open up now because of people understanding autism right understanding special needs you can open a place where kids can come and have fun and play with their family with less liability for you mm -hmm. um you she said i'm going for lpn perfect when you finish, come to Pennsylvania, find HSE Staffing Agency, LLC. That's my company. We provide nursing staffing to hospital, nursing home, dialysis, colleges, anywhere. So that's what I do. I staff nurses. Once you graduate, hint, come join me. If you're not in Pennsylvania, you want to start your own business, 
I do a lot of video on how you can start your own business. You can become your own boss. Yeah. You can start your own staffing Absolutely. agency. You can start your own home health agency. You can open a group home. You can do the um, therapeutic staff support. You can go with kids with special needs. You can um, like you can do so much with healthcare. Yeah. So if you are in the medical field, there is ways for you to work. If you're someone who likes the nine to five job, if you're someone who wants to start your own business, it doesn't matter what your field is. Right. You can be successful at anything you do. If you're a musician, like I said, you can do anything. So we have some questions here. <clears throat> Let me go find them because they like bump They up. go fast. Yeah, they uh, go thank you guys for commenting and being there. And if I don't, if I don't answer your question is because I did not see it. Not because I'm ignoring. Um, Maya's trying to find the questions to answer. And Hind, I hope I answered your question. Um, inshallah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you, ya Hind. She said, inshallah, inti qudwati fil majal. Yes, anytime. Um, I always like do videos with, <clears throat> maybe talk about my experience. And please, guys, the, you are the one that is stopping yourself. No yeah. one else, no circumstances. And I'm not trying to be tough here, but I'm going to give you some tough love. <laughs> <laughs> or toxic positivity or whatever you call it <clears throat> i can't get it to open but circumstances was... would always exist i said that in my book i think his name was obstacles like... will arise issues will come your way you are the one who can choose if you want to use everything bad is happening to you for your advantage yeah. or you want to make it um, I, I'm not going to say excuse, but if you want to use it for your advantage um, or you want to use it as a cl yep, yeah. clutch. So, um, honestly, no one had the, I mean, I can't say that. That won't be fair. But the struggles that I've been through, mm -hmm. oh, and everybody knows me know I've been through a lot. And I did not let that stop me. Mm -hmm. I have... Like my company is going into 10 years. I'm going to tell you the story that I always tell everyone. And when I speak or when I go for motivational speaking or whatever, when I started the business <clears throat> 2013, I had two people that almost broke me. Um, the first person is the, oh, thank, thank you, you for the balloons. balloons. <laughs> um, uh, the person that I met with, uh, it was the small business administration. And yes, I am shouting you out. Um, he sat down with me and I showed them my plan. I already had my LLC done. I did my research. I had everything set up for my company, even the contract. I came to him and I said, look through it. Tell me what am I missing? He sat down, read it and point blank. He looked at me and he said, you have everything to succeed. You have a great personality. You're a nurse. So you're going to succeed in your field because that's your bread and butter, right? Mm -hmm. You have everything that it takes to succeed, but you're not going to succeed. Yeah. You are going to file bankruptcy. Everybody knows me got tired of hearing this story, but I'm not going to stop saying it. He said, you are going to file bankruptcy in the first year because you are a woman, mm. you're a black woman, and you have accents. So everyone listening to us right now, if English is not your second language, and you're not born in the U.S. or anywhere where you learn English just by being there, born or came here young, you are always going to have an accent. Yeah. I'm not going to say everyone. Some people get rid of that. I still have my accent, but that is not a reason for me to fail. Yeah. A lot of people say they can't start a business or they can't get a new job because they're not understanding the mm -hmm. language mm -hmm. or... 
They're afraid people will not understand them. And that guy confirmed all your fear. He told me I'm going to fail because I have an accent. I'm a black woman and I'm an immigrant. So people are not going to take me serious. That was in 2013. So uh, being me, the hard headed one, I told them, I'll see you in a few years. And that's not going to stop me. Right. So I went and that, that was like the gasoline. To your he poured fire. fuel my fire. Mm -hmm. And I went, worked harder so I can succeed. And I guess what happened after two years? I called that person and I said, I'm still here. <laughs> and I did not file bankruptcy. Right. And my company that year, uh, no, not that year, two years after, won an award became one of the top leading agency in the area. Yeah, so never take somebody <clears throat> else's advice or, you know, that's what Hydra said in the beginning, don't take it personal, right? What somebody may see or envision for you is not yeah. your journey. Yeah. You only person that decides is yourself. Yeah. The energy you put in is what you're going to get back. So that's why it's really important. People are going to say negative things all the time. They're going to say, oh, my word, you're... You want to be a, a makeup artist? You know how many makeup artists are in Harrisburg? Or yeah. How many makeup artists that are in New York? What are you doing, girl? Why, why do you want to do that? You yeah. have to make the conscious decision to say, you know what? This is what I want to do, and I'm going to put all my energy into it and go for it. Now, there's two sides to business. There's the person who, like Hygier, who started her business, was go, I'm going to do this, and then there's the other 24 side. 7 so when I started my business when I was 15, I, I'm always thinking of something new. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to start this business. And then I would just stop like, mm. let me find something else. You have to stick to. You have to stick <clears throat> to one. And that's why like that first step that we talked about having that clear vision, right? You have to have a clear vision. of. What but it's okay like. to have more. Like when I don't at night. Oh my God, I'm going to take on the world. I'm going to do this. And I, I am, I am doing a lot. Like I, I can just go to bed and be done because mm -hmm. I created a successful company and I'm good with what I have, right. but I, I have so much right. to offer. Right. So don't, don't like confine your dreams, Yeah. but find one good vision, do it. Bring it home. Mm -hmm. Then you start something else. Yeah. Um, you can do th three things at the same time. I started HSE staffing and I started Tomorrow Smile. Tomorrow Smile is the nonprofit. That is not going to bring me money because I'm doing it for raising awareness. I'm doing it to, to, to give back, right? Right, right. So I had to focus on my money making, which is the staffing agency. Then did that volunteer then once you get to the point that your business is stable you'll be able to do everything else you want to give back to do what we do right now like i this is my therapy session mm -hmm. this is something i love it's dear to my heart yeah. um to do that the talk show to do the awareness to do this and that and we don't do, just do this here on facebook but it's also in the community right so have a, a clear vision mm -hmm. and be like Maya, dream big. Dream big. But, but stick to one. <laughs> and not just stick to one. Like if you're going to start a business, make it an umbrella business like the Hygiene Network. Everything is, it, it, it's its own community in one. So if you're going to have that person, I mean, if you're going to have, if you're that type of person that is always thinking about what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? Just, have a network. Hajir Network. Like Hajir Network, when I started, it was just the HSE and the Tomorrow Smile. Then the show came 2015, mm -hmm. the Hajir show. And we had like three things going on. Kept doing it, kept adding mm -hmm. with my um, a commitment to other organization. Mm -hmm. The speaking yeah. came, then the book. The book came in 2019. So I'm like, woo. I already start. You guys start. Yeah. And like then a, you'll find it's a rubble effect. Like a snowball. Snowball yeah. effect. Does it snow in Sudan? Uh, no. 
Oh. <laughs> it's cold, but it doesn't snow. Okay. But, um, you know, they seen it in a movie. <laughs> well, it's like a snowball. It just, like, builds up, builds up, and then you got this big old... Shout out old to Ubi, Ubi Vision. Ayub is one of the most, like, amazing young men I know. He keep grinding. He keep doing what he does. Shout out to Millionaire Methods. Millionaire Methods is his company. It's his vision. And he started it a few years back. He is trying to raise awareness, empower young men using his experience, expertise. He's trying to use his life. And he's young. Yeah. But don't let that fool you. This boy knows a lot. Shout out to Ayub. And if everyone watching us now, go check. Uh, Ayub, drop your uh, link here. Drop your uh, website. Drop the name of your company. Because his company is, he, he has beautiful clothing. You have, we have to get one for mine. Yeah, I need some. When I did swag. the business Wednesday a couple weeks ago, I was wearing oh, yeah. one of oh. his. I was wearing his sweatshirt. Oh, this is the YouTube that I've been yes. watching. Oh, hi, friend. Ayub, she's she's been watching you without knowing you, and she said, "This this young man is so good." Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. That's what I was texting. Hi, I watch your videos all the time. Yes, listen to what Hyder is saying. Please go follow him on YouTube. UB Vision, and He's his awesome. vision is UB. U B Y Vision and his company is Millionaire Methods. Let me find it. And he is truly an inspiring young man. I love you, Ayubi. And you are going places. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so that's what we're talking about, guys. Um, you know, have your vision, Yubi's vision. Oh, we're gonna use this line. Yubi's vision. <laughs> Have your vision. Start with that vision. And then you are going to see, like Hint said, Hint said she has a lot of ideas. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Start with one. Establish your company or your nonprofit or whatever you see. And then add to that. And soon enough, you're going to find your empire. Right? You are going to find your network, Hajir's network. You are going to find your vision. Yes. You're going to find your, vision. Your, your, your niche. You should see how Kareem, I need to post a video. Kareem watches, like he says, Ubi, Ubi. <laughs> so, Ubi, you need to do videos for young babies. Kareem will love to watch your videos. So, um, Ubi's vision, uh, hint. Soon you're going to have Hindu's vision yeah. or Hindu's network. Yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with having a large dream. Dream big, aim for beyond the stars. Right. But again, ground yourself. Right, and follow through. Follow through. You got to follow through. You see this narrow? You need them blinders that horses be Oh, wearing. somebody give us hearts. Oh, thank, thank you for you. the love. You got to have those visions that horses wear to keep You got to have the vision, Ubi's vision. You got to. <laughs> That's going to be my line. You're going to hear Ubi's vision until it become part of your day. You're going to say, I'm going to have a vision, Ubi's vision. Yes. <laughs> so have those vision. Have the big dream, but work towards it in small steps. Yes. Um, when you look at the road, you might feel distract, not distracted. You might feel, um, like, um, not a stress. What the word I'm looking for? Overwhelmed. Yes. You might feel overwhelmed when you put a, a huge plan. Yeah. That's why when you start your business plan, have a big outline and then under it, put the smaller goals. Right. You know, the first goal Choose the name yeah. that will represent what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Choose the entity type. How are you going to present yourself? Then choose the target audience, 
clear vision, customer, um, what you call it, uh, directed plan. Customer focused. Plan. Customer focused. I'm losing my focus right now. <laughs> customer focused. Okay. Have everything, put all the tools there. And right. nowadays, like in 2013, we did not have, I'm not saying it was too old, but the things that I have now at my hand tip, like my fingertips, I did not have back then. Right. Google is your best friend. Man, Google is clutch. Google is your best friend. Sometimes. Every question. I mean, sometimes you find... <laughs> Yeah, you I'm might have to. Gonna... You gotta have the line upon line, do yes. a little extra research. But Google yes. is a great resource and a great tool to use. And trust me, anything that you want to do, you will find someone else searched it before you. Absolutely, done it before you yep. or tried. Nothing so, new under the sun. Nothing wrong with you having someone's guidance, yes. but just take all that into consideration. Don't follow someone else's footstep yes. because their foot might be bigger than yours or smaller mm -hmm. and you don't want to get lost. You have to find what fit with your body type, your weight, right. your whatever. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So we have a comment from Wasal. I hope I said that right. But um, the comment says, can you talk about how to deal with the fear of failure? Be dealing with the feel the fear of failure i know firsthand that's why i've never <laughs> me too <laughs> i've never it was really hard for me to let go of my corporate job that i had um you know all my all my life i've i've had my majority of my life since i was 15 i had my business but i always had that safe space as hygier spoke about earlier i always had that sp safe space which was my career um so the fear of failure comfort. has yeah comfort yeah my fear of um failing always held me back from accomplishing what i really want so imagine i started when i was 15 and now i'm 31. yep so you you start to start you start thinking about oh man what did i miss out on i could have been doing this i could have been doing that but you can't hold on to that the thought of failing or you'll never jump You'll never jump out of the That's why you need a hajir in your life. This is true. This is, listen. I got no fear. Listen. Look at this face. Nothing. Seriously, nothing fade me. Throw anything my way She's and right. I'll find a way to make it work for me. Yes. Throw lemon. I'm going to squeeze it and make lemonade. Throw bricks. I'm going to use it to make a ladder and climb. Throw me metal. I'm going to build a chair Screaming. <laughs> and a, a, and a podium. Yeah, but she, but she's right. Like you have to have that strong person. Um, and one day we're going to share with you guys, like how Hajir helped me to, you know, kind of like see the light, you know, uh, and it, it took her eight years. Ooh, said. I'm Jesus. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 cut that no, off. Just <laughs> yeah. no, uh, but like seriously, you need that, help someone to yeah, see the light. You yeah. need that strong person. <laughs> and Hygier has been telling me literally since day one, when I first, eight told years her, ago, when I first met her, she came on the TSO show and she asked me, she, she was like, Oh, so what do you do? And I was like, Oh, I sell cell phones. And she just looked at me like, what what do you what do you mean you sell cell phones and ever since then she's always been pushing me to shoot for my dreams and and really take my success to the next level but i was always scared i was always i always had that fear of failing but what saw my best advice to you is listen to the daily motivation every day Every day at 8 o'clock, it goes on so you can hear something and motivate you to be successful. Surround yourself with people who have the same vision and the same mindset as you. If you are around people who are like, oh, you're not going to be successful. Or you can't do that right here. Oh, don't worry about that. Just continue to work. You'll never take that leap of faith. And yeah. then you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can conquer your, your dreams and you will be successful. Yeah, if you watch my... Like since 2013, my message never changed. And my message never changed since I was born, to be honest with you. Maya will tell you that she know me for eight years. If you look at my post, yes. videos, anything, mm -hmm. associate yourself with mind-like people, with people that are not afraid of saying your name at an important meeting, mm -hmm. lifting you up, 
someone who doesn't feel intimidated by yeah. your success. Uh, nobody intimidate me. I'm not a competitive person. I don't like anyone to compete. Right. You compete with yourself. Exactly. Do not compete with somebody else. Yeah. Um, have I'm not going to say have no fear. I personally have no fear. Um, I, I fear um, cockroaches. Sarasil. <laughs> Cockroaches, roaches, yeah. Really? Cockroaches. That's my. That's my fear. That's your only fear. Sarsar. No snakes. No scorpions. It's more sarsar. 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 Yeah. I don't care about. Give me a lion. Don't give me roach. <laughs> give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> yeah. No. Shaza. Shaza. Marhabi ya Shaza. And Sam, Shaza said he is wrong. Yes, Shaza, he is wrong. And that's just, I, I tell this story all the time because if you allow someone to have control over your life and what you want to do, don't never ever give anyone that much control yeah. to make you feel like you can't do something. Yeah. Well, Sal, Simple. thank you so much. And thank, thank you, Wissal. Thank you for watching and leaving your comment and we will see you tomorrow. Sam, oh, she's leaving? Yes. Thank you, Wissal. Thank you, dear. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Sam said, I'm really so excited. Keep going. Thank you. Shiza said, humans are capable of doing things. It's just how you believe in yourself. Yeah. Truly. Right on. Um, Muhammad said, I wish I could speak English like you. Um, guess what, Muhammad? I still have my accent <laughs> and you will Yes. Um, practice, mm -hmm. watch our videos. I try to speak slowly Yes. and when Maya speaks l like fast, I will slow it down for all of you work on it. and you will yeah. practice make perfect. Mm -hmm. Remember, I lived in the United States since 2001. So this is 22 years and four or five months. Um, <clears throat> So, um, you have to talk to people all the time. Right. Uh, someone sent me a message and she said she's been here for a year and she is afraid, like she has a lot of ideas at work, but she can, she's afraid that they're not going to understand. Don't do that. Your fear, the fear is the only enemy. Your fear yeah. is your number one enemy. Nobody. Like even the haters, the bad negative people around you, they are not your first um, trouble or issue. The people that um, like tell you you can't do something, they're bad, mm -hmm. but you are your first enemy. When you allow your fear to stop you from doing things, you are never, you never know. You're never going to know how strong you are until being strong is the only option, yeah. you know? So the same thing, if you feel your, um, your employer, your coworkers are not going to understand what you're saying, speak slowly yeah. and ask them. Yeah. Say, do you want me to clarify? Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Ask them, say, can you help me? Yeah. speak better mm -hmm. and they will you'll be surprised how many people will be looking to help you and right. get you where you want to be that's so true and sometimes <clears throat> we overlook that you know but all you can do is ask closed mouths don't get fed so closed mouth don't get fed so if you feel like you need help <laughs> we need a t-shirt with that <laughs> yeah we should we should get it yeah yeah <laughs> but, word. closed mouths don't get fed exactly um <clears throat> but you you won't know unless you ask yeah. And my biggest recommendation, I know you guys watch and follow us every day, the daily motivation videos that we play every morning at 8 o'clock. Those videos are, are in our funnel. They're in our videos. Go back and watch those videos. That's yeah. a great way to learn how to speak English, and 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 we provide that at, at no cost. Yeah. So watch the daily motivation videos. Rewatch the live play. I know I talk fast. Um, it's part of sales. Stay with us if you don't but, understand what yeah. we're saying. Ask us to repeat it. Yes. Um, I'm going to just give you one like story. My very first job, I work at the daycare. I came to the U.S. Uh, June 
2001. My first job was October. And the only reason I was late getting a job, I give birth to my last August. I came here June 7th. Oh I give birth to my last August 16th. I went to work, my very first job, October 1st at a daycare. June, July, August, all oh, my word. Yeah, like two months, right? Mm -hmm. I studied English in Sudan in college, right? But I never talked. Uh, I don't know the accent, the American accent. So I work at the daycare. I was like that mom, I'm sure all of you remember me, <laughs> like standing there talking to you. You sometimes, they don't know what I'm saying, but they still respond. Because uh, I was like, talk to me. Can you help me? And I did. I, I walked to the parent. I'm like, I'm new to the country. This is my first day at the job. Like saying it in right. my broken, broken English. <laughs> and I'm like, can you help me? Right. And <clears throat> one parent, I will never forget her name. Her name is Diana. If you're out there, hi, Diana. Diana will come every day, few minutes before picking up her, her daughter. And she will talk to me. Oh, wow. See, you just and, never know. Yeah. Now I'm, yeah. I feel like I'm going to tear I'm going to tear up. I'm like that. So co-workers that work with me at Colorful Future Daycare, Trisha, Trish Ferguson. Trish is one of my Facebook friends. Um, I'm going to cry. Seriously. <laughs> like I had so many good people in my life. Yeah. You just never know. So yeah. my co-workers at the daycare. Um, like they talk, they sat down, th did that extra, like took that extra time and it made to a difference. help me. Yeah. And it made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And I called Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie, I hope you are healthy. I texted her recently. Miss Jackie was my first employer who gave me my first job with the help of Limia, um, a Sudanese friend here. Miss Jackie helped me. Like when I say help me, she helped me. I was making $6. I was the happiest, you know, making those $6. Yeah. And she allowed me to have my last with me. So I saved the daycare. I was able to have my daughter with me. I was making extra money and I was learning English. So Miss Jackie, um, you know, everyone at that daycare, Miss Lewis, Trisha, yeah. Diana, one of the kids mom, they all helped. So don't think people are not willing to help you. And that's why I do what I do now. Yeah. I mean, it's like people help me to get to where I am. So we're providing this help because I know it's going to help someone. I am getting so emotional. We need to run this too. life. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, it doesn't matter where you're at. Yeah. You always have to give thanks to the people who helped you get to where you're at. And I always, I text them, I send a message, I search for them. And if I did not say your name and you're out there and you know me, know that I am thankful for everything you've done. To me, to Malaz, oh my gosh, I am a hot mess, but... Uh, oh, amen. <laughs> so the single parent out there, if you have kids and you don't feel like you can go to work and leave your kids, a daycare is a good start. Yeah. Like find a daycare near you. Mm -hmm. They allow you to have your child. I was like new at the country. So I didn't want to like leave my last. Mm -hmm. I wanted income. I wanted to um, like be able to do it all. And a lot of people would tell you, you can't do it all. They're mm -hmm. wrong. Look yeah. at me. I'm doing it all. <laughs> but again, I would not be able to be where I am if it's not for the people who helped me. And not just like since we're doing the thank you, find the daycare. You can work out, find a school where you can sub where your kids so you can see them. If you're not a single mom or dad, um, you know, if you just have someone to help you and you don't need that, yeah. find a job that will really treat you as a family. Um, you know, someone will 
like I have so much to say about colorful future. If you read my memoir, oh, she said, give Hadir a hug. <laughs> oh, I will, I will, I will. If you read my memoir, you know, I talked about colorful future daycare a lot because when I went through my domestic violence, they allowed me to sleep at the daycare. They took me in, they made sure that I'm okay. And that's why I always say, surround yourself with people who truly care. Yeah. And I care, Maya care, and that's why we do what we do. Uh, I mean, this is not, I'm not, this is not money for us, right? right. I have right. my business, I could say, forget everything and just sleep, go on vacation. <laughs> like I, I'm good, right? right? But I'm doing this because it did affect me. And please don't you ever doubt yourself and mm -hmm. what you can do to help someone. Mm -hmm. A small kind, a small act of kindness can go a long way. I still remember every single person that did a nice gesture. And I truly remember everyone that turned their back on me yeah. because people will never forget how you made them feel. They will forget what you say. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you Russia. People forget what you say to them, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Yeah. And so many people in my life made me feel, <laughs> um, everybody knows me, knows I'm a, I'm an emotional person. I'm a hot mess. But truly, truly, like, I wasn't planning to be a, a crying. Yes, the power of kindness. Yeah. So 2001 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, anyone that truly lend a hand, Fatma, there's so many women around me that took care of my girls um, in order for me to go to school. Um, so many that took the time Arvella, um, Fatma, Bangora, Sara, Tiffany, Tiffany Taylor, like those people I surround myself with, they took care of my kids so I can take care of business. Yeah. So I can go to school, so I can better myself, so I can give back. So it's a cycle. It is. When you reach uh, success when you reach the place that you feel you are comfortable, you're good. Don't forget where you come from. Mm -hmm. I will never forget where I come from. And I always keep myself grounded because you need that. You do. You need that in order for you to continue being human, to being a human. I never want to lose like this, like crying and having raw emotion. I never want to lose that part of me. That's why any negative person, they're done. I cut them out of my life. As you should. Ah, whew, that was a mouthful. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you yeah. have those kind of people in your life to yeah. help you in your journey. Because now... Thank you, Muna. Now you are the person that's helping other people yeah. fulfill their journeys. And I try. Yeah. I, uh, everything that I do yeah. is you truly... Are. You are. Thank like you. I'm like you're an, I'm like your example right here. Yeah. You are. <laughs> and yeah, so that I did not become who I am. What happened here? I did not become who I am uh just walking up and being this mm -hmm. person or having the success that I have or having the love around right. me. It all happened because I had people Love you, UB. Um, I have more amazing people that give what they have. And please look at me. You don't have to give a lot. Yeah. Being kind, um, supporting someone while they're grinding, while they're doing what they need to do, pursuing their dreams. Mm -hmm. Just be there for someone. Yeah. That's is enough. That's enough. So many days I will just like, I'm like so hurt and I'll go to work and they just come and give me a hug. You, you don't even need to say something to someone. Right. I, we're out of the topic and sorry that I've got you all emotional. And, <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> pursuing your dream, have a clear vision. Mm -hmm. um, remember where you come from, mm -hmm. 
ground yourself. Yes, ground yourself. That's the what differentiates you. A lot of people say, um, are you real? Remember when mm -hmm. Patty, <laughs> a lot of people that I know and I, I like to, they know who I am. A lot of people might not know who I am, but if you know, like they, they like, why are like why are you doing this? People think you have an interior motive. Yeah. yeah. Or like they're yeah. like, are you real? Yeah. Like I am a real yeah. person. And if you know how you you know how you know how hard it is to explain to somebody else that she is a real person. Because people, <laughs> I I had it recently. They're like, how is she? Like, what is she? She alien. She why are you down she, to she, earth? She's not an alien, y'all. She's a real person. But your life experiences, you can choose for them to be a clutch, or you can choose to use them as your road to success. Success doesn't mean you have to look at everyone down. No. You know. Yep. Has yeah. you said it in her in her daily motivation um, last Wednesday? You cannot pull people down and expect. Imani to go. Sual. Iman said the sual at Jack. Which question, Iman? Then you scroll up. A sual at Jack. Uh, which sual? Which question? That's my doctor. Um, is there another question? If there is another question, can you send it to us? Being a businesswoman needs strong willing willingness. You can fall, but... You need to stand up again and try and try to achieve your goal. I like that. Uh, Iman, I don't see any question. Can you do it again? <clears throat> I don't see. Shukran ya Amal. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, get lazy. Sual Jack. Like the question you got. Which question, Iman? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she said the, the post I did yesterday. She said like that question, uh, someone asked you, oh, yes. why are you doing the uh, awareness? awareness? He said, al -hadaf. he didn't say why you're doing it. He said, what is your goal or motive or whatever <laughs> for making awareness video? Have I asked you to pay something for it? <laughs> yeah. So three ninety nine, y'all. Three ninety nine. <laughs> yes, just like that. So Alia, yeah, Iman. Um, somebody said, um, ma ma al hadaf ma hadafik min al al postat al tawawiya wal al video. Somebody was asking, what is my intention or motive to do awareness videos, or what's the re What's the purpose of doing awareness videos? Mm -hmm. It says it in the name, right. awareness right. videos. Um, and the, que the real question is, what is your purpose for asking the question? Yes, exactly. That, that's, <laughs> that if it, that's the real question. So I get that all the time, Iman. I get all that all the time. A lot of people don't know that this is basically because someone, someday, help me to get to where I am. I'm hoping that everything I do will help someone to get to where they want to be. Absolutely. Um, I can do a personal phone to 66,000 followers, but what I can do is go live. Go live. So, ma salama. Thank you everybody for Thank watching you. Business Wednesday. Please join us tomorrow for Mental Health Thursday. Thank you to all of our followers and all, everybody who watched the show, commented, tick commented tiktok instagram youtube facebook we love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs> bye